Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sipagazi William and today I'm going to be dyeing this hair and also a little bit of a review at the end of the hair. This video is sponsored by Sealy Hair. So thank you to them for sending me this hair and sponsoring this video. I really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so if you guys just want to see me dyeing the hair, it, dyeing it black specifically, and if you want to hear more about it, then carry on watching. Okay, so we're starting off with the hair from Sealy Hair, and it came in the silk bag, which I really think is pretty cool for storage. It just stores the hair better and all that. So in the bag, I got the hair, and I got this pamphlet that shows you the hair care more about the brand. Also got two wig caps, which I did use, and of course I got a mirror and the hair. So the hair is 180% density. The length is 24 inches. The style is deep wave, and it is a 13 by 6 inch lace front wig. So the hair itself, um, it came with the styrofoam and the paper and came in a net as it always does to protect the hair within the plastic and i'm just trying to show you guys a little bit of the curl and how deep set it really is so this is the paper that keeps like the um head part of the wig intact and this is the styrofoam that protects the lace basically for like as the hair is traveling and all of that so you guys can see that the wig is pre-plucked here and this is basically this is basically the wig cap construction um you can see that that frontal part is really wide to get that six inch parting there's a bit of lace at the back and of course we have the elastic bands that are adjustable to tie the wig tighter again i'm just giving you guys a closer look at the curls as well as how far the lace goes for a part opening at the top so now i'm going to be starting the dyeing process the first thing that i need to do is protect the lace and i'm using this gel slash wax edge control um and this i just literally found at like a store in brown i think you can buy it at clicks as well if i'm not mistaken um but it's definitely cheaper <laughs> at like an independent store and i'm just trying to use as much as possible of this on the lace this basically acts as a barrier between the wi the wig lace and the dye the hair dye to try and stop the hair dye from coming through so my only mistake is that i put a lot more of it on the bigger part of the lace and i didn't put as much on the front part of the lace and you guys will see that it does stain there i was just showing you guys that i put a plastic in between the wig and the actual head that i use so here i didn't use one two or even three i used a whole four boxes of hair dye super black hair dye um to dye this hair like fully black and all of it so i'm just going to show you guys in real time me applying the hair dye once i've mixed it according to the instructions in on the box or in the box um and really i don't use any combs i just use my fingers i apply it with my hands and then i run my fingers through the curls to basically make sure that all the curls are saturated in the hair dye and you guys will be able to see the transition from like this natural brown color to a more dark black color as the dye starts to settle into the hair I definitely would suggest using a lot of hair dye because the hair is 24 inches it means that there's a lot more hair to cover that's why i used four um boxes to make sure that i have enough of the hair dye and i don't run out so here i am just parting the hair to make sure the hair dye gets everywhere so there are some parts underneath that won't get the hair dye from just simply putting it on and rubbing your on rub having your fingers run through the hair so you just have to open up some sections just to see that all the parts of the hair have been saturated with hair dye Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here you can see there are bits of the lace that are stained. Um, I do kind of fix that later on, but I am washing the hair after having the dye sit in it for about 40 minutes. Um, I don't think it needed that much time, but I just wanted to be extra sure. And yeah, I just really did kick myself for the parts where the lace got stained because honestly, if you put on that edge control wax like thoroughly and well, the hair dye does not go through the lace and i think those parts i just skipped a little bit so yeah i'm just washing out the hair dye itself and as you can see the curls are still intact but the hair is so beautifully dark and black it's just perfect like the super black i really love um, my hair super black so <laughs> this makes me really happy you can see everything is still looking really good the head is not compromised at all so yeah the next step is for me to bleach the knots which is the step that i'm also going to use to try and get rid of some of the stained parts of the lace so i'm using the new light bleach powder with the new light um, cream developer and it's a 40 volume developer and as you can see i'm first starting on the front of the lace you can see where i put a lot of the wax like in the middle part of the lace none of the hair dye went through the lace or stained the lace but where i didn't put on a lot it really got stained so with that being said i applied a really thick mix of the bleach just to try and make the stained parts um less dark and then i let that sit in for 30 minutes because it is a high volume developer and i washed out the bleach and i conditioned the hair because i had dyed it Okay, so just to give a bit of a review, um, so it is the same day that I did the whole dyeing process and all of that. And as you guys can see, the hair is still very much curly. So I just want to show you guys what the hair looks like on me and all that. Um, the hair, like I said, did come like pre-plucked. I did pluck a little bit more. And then I made baby hairs. Um, I tried. It's not my my best skill but i really tried to make for this look i feel like they are fitting and all that so i did pluck a little bit more um so as you can see you can tell that it is pretty plucked so i didn't do a like a lot i didn't pluck a lot of hair um so yeah and with the drying process of it i only blow dried the hair and then i just was like raking my fingers and long nails through it so this is how the curls came out from me just basically doing this while blow drying the hair this is how big it looks so it's got a lot of volume but it's long i just want to show you guys like how long it is so this is like the first half i'm going to show you all the hair so this is like my waist well my stomach my belly button is here so it's like just above my belly button because it's curly it doesn't really like um it's not straight so it won't go all the way down but yeah so it's a lot longer than what it is but this from the back it is touching my butt a little bit i can't show you that right now because like i'd have to jump and whatever but um yeah so this is what the hair looks like i really really love the texture i love the curl that it came with I love how soft the hair is. I will note though that it's a little bit dry at the top and I think that's because I literally took the hair dryer um, when I was drying the hair, I took the hair dryer to the top first because I wanted to pluck the hair and then afterwards dry it all together again. So I think I just over used the heat here at the top and this is what the part looks like, the six inches. So I haven't laid it down like all the way but it's quite and this is the side of it so it's quite um long and i like that i feel like that looks very natural especially when you do a middle part which i'm sure i'm gonna be doing with this hair as well so i was just trying out this hairstyle to do something different and something new um on here and i really love it i love the way it looks i don't know i'm getting like a little bit of a disco diva vibe and all that so yeah um just to give you guys a mini plug everyone's been asking where this red lipstick is from and it's a mac lipstick is called fashion legacy and the type of lipstick that it is is a retro matte liquid lip color so this is what it looks like for you guys thought i should just include it there i wore it because you guys loved it so much in my last vlog so 
yeah, that's the plug on, and that's the tea, I guess, <laughs> on the lipstick. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two about dyeing hair, um, especially dyeing it black, because I know I get a lot of questions about how I dye my wigs black since I love doing that. So I hope this it gives a bit more insight. There is another video that I have where I did dye a wig black, but it wasn't a full frontal. So you can check that out if you want to investigate further. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, thank you guys for all your love and support. I love you guys so much with all my heart. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't and all that. I'll see you in the next one.